Okay, um, I tried to explain this the other day while I was out on my bike, but I don't think it was that clear. So, I'm going to do a quick um, video now, providing my battery holds up, should do. That is a tubular tyre, okay? It's a Vitoria Corsa Evo CX, and as you can see, it's not like a clincher, which is like so. See? A clincher for hooked rims. So you can only run clinchers on rims like this, which have got a hook rim, see? Hence clincher, so it clinches on. All right? Now a tubular tyre will not only go on a tubular rim, but you can use a tubular tyre on a clincher rim. But you can't use a clincher tyre on a tubular rim, because a tubular rim, okay, isn't hooked, as you can see. So this is the tubular. Low battery. Have we got enough time? And there's the clincher, as you can see. No hooks on the tubular, and we've got hooks on the clincher. Okay. And to put a tubular tyre on a tubular rim, you glue it on with some of this or you can get special tape. Plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to do that. So I just thought I'd explain the difference. Tubular versus clincher. This is an old tubular tyre. Alright, we're going to chop into it like so. There's probably going to be some stands in here. So there we go. You've got the tube, which is just like inside the tyre. In this case, latex. That's a latex inner tube. And it's basically stitched up in the factory. It's all stitched and glued up. Dead easy to fix. Um, you know, when you're out, you get a puncture. Not really much of a problem at all. But there you go. Now you know the difference between clinchers and tubulars. Hooked rims versus glued on rims, okay? See ya.